Hey guys, we're in game number two now between DDE and Zerka. And DDE took game number one from Team Six Jacks and Zerka from Team Gosu. Used to be one, but Gosu bought them out. We'll see what Zerka does. DDE used Hellions and even killed a queen with Hellions, then weakened up the other one that Banshees came in and just demolished. So we'll see what DDE does in game number two. Zerka even showed a little bit of BM in game one. And I'm wondering if DDE will return the favor if Zerka gets Infestors out because DDE does not like Infestors. Oh, he didn't a few months ago when I asked him. I haven't talked to him that much lately. But I know he didn't like Infestors and I don't blame anyone for not liking Infestors except if they're a Zerg player. And then even Zerg players will hate Infestors when they're playing against people like Destiny. Because Destiny takes Infestors to an entirely new level. We have a Extractor trick going down for Zerka. But he did get that Overlord, so I don't know exactly what his plan is. DDE, we'll see if he changes it up. Well, what's he end up doing? He's going to put the supply uh, barracks down here. And we don't have a drone scout just yet from Zerka. If he did drone scout, he could harass this SEV building the barracks because it's so far away. He could delay that barracks build time, but no. He's not going to do that, and DDE is going to two racks. And that is so common on this map because, number one, you can win games with it. Number two... You wall off very easily, and you got two bases. The drone scout is coming, gonna see the two racks. And this was looking like, I don't know what it's gonna be. It looks like Zerka isn't really too sure on what he wants to do, so he got the pool first, and then he's gonna expand. That can be good against the two racks. You get lings out. But they can still contain you down here and keep you on one base for a very long time. Now he does see, hey... You were too axing me. That sucks. And we'll see what DDE can do with this now that it's been scouted pretty early. And the Marine is coming out. There is another two Marines in production. Wait, only just one. There goes that second and third. And uh, the Overlord on his way, just slowly going around the map to scout. And the Marine chasing that one drone. We do have six Lings in production. And suppose the SCV is going where it is, into the main. I think he should have just tried to go into a spot and uh, made a 1U wall with the bunker. And made it so those lings had a very hard time taking the marine out behind of it. And I'm curious what DDE is doing. He's baiting those lings for something. He expanded on his own right now, still producing marines. But it doesn't look like he's going to put too much aggression on right now. Just hoping he can get Zerka to overreact. He did build quite a few links. So let's go to this drone count. 15 to 18. DD ahead on workers. Let's see who threw down the expansion first. And of course, since the hatchery is finished, Zerka did. And DD is about halfway done with his command center. He is not that far behind. And because he did go for the pool first, still no gas. His link speed is going to be way, way behind. It looks like he's going to go for like some type of ice fisher build. That is also known as the Spanishawa style. With a uh, late, late, late gas. He is getting gas now. Just started his extractor. But man, is that late. The uh, Another BX is on the way with a factory. So it looks like DDE probably just going to go straight into Marine Tank. His natural is up, and uh, is he going to get an command? Yes, he is. Tech lab going down on one of the barracks, so he is going to be researching stem, maybe combat shields. Going to come up, see that spine crawler, and immediately back away and wait. Oh, my God. Oh, he gets one poke. DDE, I think, was trying to sneak his way up that ramp, and then decided it was not worth it. Got one poked by a spine crawler, but hey... He almost forced a lot of links to be made. And maybe that's what he was doing. If he got over here, maybe he was hoping Zerka would just hold down that Z key and build a lot of links. And those aren't drones. 
Uh oh, we have a tech lab coming out. Looks like another Banshee play is coming. And Zuka did go for a really late gas, which means the Banshee should be able to do damage. No matter what, it should do damage. That is out of the question. Or maybe he's going to do a drop with tanks and marines. I'm not sure exactly. He could get a tank out of and a medevac and elevator his way up here. And that would also be very strong. And he's producing a tank, so that looks like exactly what he is doing. He is going to start using elevators and annoying his opponent by uh, bypassing this whole front. And keep in mind, when DD did poke up there, he saw the Lings did not have speed. So, he kind of knows that Zerka has a late gas. Or he saved it for a very fast layer, but a late gas is more common. Especially when going for that uh, one build he did with the pool before gas, or pool expansion, then gas. That's pretty late. So, DD looking to take advantage of that. Another tank is on the way. And there's a lot of links from Zerka that just now have speed. And as they move out, DDE is doing a drop, so this drop could do a lot of damage. Tank doesn't have siege mode, but that's a very durable wall. Three barracks, that's going to take links a long time, but wait! 17 Bane links on the way. That is a lot of Bane links. So Zerka, looking like he wants to end the game right now. And that's enough to take out a barracks or two. And now tanks even going up in the medevac. And he's going to see this and be like, oh, yikes. Medevac is coming, sees everything. And is he going to commit to this? He sees the Baneling count. And yeah, that was enough Banelings. That wall does go down. SEVs building a supply depot in the back here. And now he's going to land the tanks on the high ground. Does not have siege mode. Oh no, he does have siege mode. So if he was in siege earlier, he would have easily held that off. And now I'm going to use some tank micro with his medevac. Keep in mind, these, this drop did a lot of damage. No more spawning pool. So it looks like DD is going to hold this. Again, those Marines just doing so much damage. Command Center is going to have to lift up. He gets the wall up, and now he should be safe against anything. With these two tanks in siege mode, now the third one. Zerka has a Banley's Nest, no spawning pool. This drop by DDE did so much, and I'm sorry I didn't go over to it, but I want to show you that action. Of course I knew it happened, but we can't do PIP here when we're live, unfortunately. And, uh, DD can't really do any more damage, but Zerka can't mine gas right now. DD should be really far ahead. And now he's bringing some tanks on over, and that will allow him to, uh, push from this high ground down. And since there's no spawning pool, this drop could do a lot of damage. Those few marines are enough probably to handle the lings alone. And then with the tanks, oh, that is just overkill. And three Banelings just chilling here, waiting for an SCV to come out. And I'm surprised those Lings didn't try to take out this, because he saw this coming. He knew this was happening. And now, DD is in range of the hatch. And going to be inching forward a little bit. Is that tank going to siege? He's still got these three Banelings. Which is annoying. He's going to do another wall on that high ground. Just in case there's another phase to this all in. And that SEV was a hero. Taking two Banelings out. And now Le Marines are going to come down. Because hey, no more spine caller. And lots of links do pop. That may be enough to take out the tanks. But keep in mind, there's a bunker back here that he could drop the marines and get into, but it doesn't look like he is. Just being a little cute with his medevac, going to salvage that bunker. And uh, the worker count. Maybe it's going to be back to even. 
DD sees this. Third base. So maybe the second base. His main did go down. But Harvesters and Food Count looking a little bit even. But the thing is right now, Zerka is so spread thin. He's got both of these bases to worry about against so many drops that will be coming. I don't know if he can defend against like dual drops. He is building his hatch, getting a layer up. And now DD is going to do another thing, and Zuka can't really do that much with the tanks in this wall. And looks like DD is going to take out this one hatch again. And I'm curious what Zuka will get as soon as this layer finishes. Probably Baneling Speed. That will help him quite a bit. And this is a big, big drop. Those Marines can do a lot of damage to those Lings. But so many Banelings are out. Does he have stim? Yes, he does have stim. And now the Marines are landing. They're going to come in, and this hatch is just going to finish as the Marine stim, and it doesn't get canceled. And this hatch, if this goes down, that'll be so, so big because Zerka is already on the back foot, losing that 300 minerals. At the same time, DD trying to drop his tanks up here. That does get cleaned up, but this hatch does go down. And DD even taking out the Boodlings because, hey, he can. Gets that gas, and there's one drone. And that's a bad day to be that drone. He comes out and goes down. And that's so many Banelings for Zerko right now. You can see him expanding everywhere. The Banelings are coming. He's going to go up in this medevac as soon as the Banelings get near. And yeah, now he's just going to drop down on this low ground. And kind of play this elevator game. Baneling slowly taking them out. And oh, he goes back down here, spreading his Marines out. One Marine for Baneling is definitely worth it. And only three Banelings left. And now DDE sieging has two tanks up here. Does he see this base down here? Yeah, he does. That hatch is going to have to get canceled. And Zerka trying to hold on for dear life, but DDE is so aggressive, and here we go. This is the Doom Force for DDE. He is definitely in the lead now. You can see hatcheries everywhere, but there's scary forces everywhere for DDE. That hatch does get canceled. Scan goes down here, sees the spine crawlers. And uh, he's going to take out some of the creep tumors now sieging up his tanks. It's a lot of Banelings. But with this many tanks, those Banelings have to be careful. The speed upgrade now just started. He has a Spire. No Mutas are out. Yeah, no Mutas are out. It looks like DD is going to slow push his way into this one base. Keep in mind, he doesn't know this base is now done for Zerker. As soon as he starts seeing Lings come from that way, he'll probably get the idea... And you got this base completely locked down. Tanks on the low ground, tanks on the high ground. And now there's Marines saying, I've had enough, and let's just take out this spine caller. Take it out, no real losses there. Marines come out. Marines get shelled upon, but hey, some still live. And DD is just everywhere. Sorry, Zerg lovers, I tried my best, but he had mules. GG. Well played.